What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here. Here is my review for the new film Tom and Jerry. Now, Tom and Jerry is, of course, based on the on you know the very popular cartoon uh, series from the sixties and all. And this is actually their first live action adventure. Now, Tom, the new Tom and Jerry film is directed by Tim Story, who is the same guy who gave us movies like the Ride Along films, the Just Like a Man movies, the Fantastic Four films. Anyway. Now, the reviews for this is not so good. As of right now, it has a 25% on Rotten Tomatoes. Didn't really get the best reviews. But I just, I still decided to uh, check it out on the spite of hitting HBO Max. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and saw the new Tom Jerry film, and I gotta say, it's a pleasant uh, fun film. You know, I, I thought it was really cool. You know, uh, the animation, like, let me say, the animation was really impressive. I mean, when you think of a live-action adaptation of a cartoon series, obviously go ahead and think of, let's say, the Scooby-Doo live-actions, or think of Alvin and Chipmunks. But they did not go with that route. They went with the um, official 2D animation, which I thought worked perfectly. You know, it was pretty cool that they did not have uh, any action voice of Tom Urge. That was really cool. I mean, there was, like, sometimes where Tom... You know, did like, uh, sorry about that. Did like, uh, talk a little bit, but mostly, uh, true singing voice and all that. But that's how I thought, uh, the animation style was awesome. I mean, it was also really cool to see, like, um, other animals in the, in this uh, universe, uh, become like, uh, pretty much becoming like a 2D anime it's, instead. I that was really cool that we saw, like, other animals here. A bit of a spoiler, but you remember Spike, uh, the dog from, uh, from the Tom and Jerry country? Yes, Spike literally makes an appearance, which, the look on Spike was awesome. I mean, Spike was always my favorite, um, from the Tom and Jerry country. Anyway, so, of course, here you got this, uh, you know, this young uh, girl, of you know, on um, the Kayla, played by, uh, Chloe Moretz. Uh, who is, you know, trying, who ends up uh, getting a job, uh, at this, uh, hotel, um, and she is like helping out with this uh, wedding here. And so of course in the hotel, you know, uh sorry about that. So of course in the hotel there is a mouse situation, and of course the mouse in question is Jerry. And so Kayla and the and uh and the uh, hotel uh, manager named uh Mr. uh the De Brand portrayed by uh Rob Delaney, who you might know from uh Deadpool 2 fame. Uh, so they end up hiring uh, Tom to get rid of uh, the Jerry Mouse, but things go uh, you know sideways, and you know uh, he is of course having a hard time you know catching the mouse. Uh, I mean we know how the Jerry and uh, Tom and stuff go. Anyway, now of course this does have some cool cartoon violence, which works out perfectly. I mean this is definitely uh, the run of the mill uh, Tom and Jerry. I mean it was really cool to see the. Uh, you know, to see uh, both Tom and Jerry, you know, go at once again. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, and uh, I really did like uh, this one scene where Chloe West ends up going to uh, Tom and Jerry. It was like you guys have been doing this forever. <laughs> uh, well, pretty much uh, that's kind of indication that Tom and Jerry has been around forever, you know. Uh, you also had Michael Payne was also in this. It was really cool to see uh, Michael Payne pop up. Uh, you... Colin Jost, you know, from SNL fame, was in this. Uh, Tim Story did a really cool job at directing. I mean, I just had uh, such a fun time there. I mean, yeah, there was some cringy moments. I would admit that. But it was still really uh, cool to watch. You know, the animation style was cool. Uh, it, You know, uh, when Tom ends up getting hurt, it was really cool hearing his, uh, you know, iconic scream. Come on, who does not love the, to the uh, Tom scream from the Tom and Jerry Club? But, uh, that's it. I mean, this is, of course, the, the first time we saw, it, like, Tom and Jerry made their screen, um, big screen debut since 1992's Tom and Jerry the movie, so it's been a while since Tom and Jerry has actually done a film for the big screen. And, of course, this is also on HBO Max, so, but I decided to watch it on the big screen because I really always want to see Tom and Jerry on the big screen, you know? But that aside, uh, you also have some other interesting voice cast here, too, like Lil Wild Howie, um, had, like, a voice part here. But, that aside... I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't even mind seeing a sequel. Like, if they go ahead and announce a Tom and Jerry sequel, sign me up. I'm definitely going to, um, yeah, check out a sequel. 
But that aside, it was, it's definitely much better than the critics may actually be. I mean, is it, like, going to be one of the best movies of the year? Obviously not. But it's still fun. It's still entertaining. And I got to kick out of it so much. So, there's my review right there. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Did you have a chance to check out the new uh, Tom and Jerry film? If so, watch Dog Room. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you ever a fan of the cartoon growing up? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayon.